Hello and welcome to this channel. Few people who are going to watch this video. I just want to tell you that no matter which skincare products you use or which skincare ingredients you use, you are not gonna get anywhere without a good moisturizer and a good sunscreen. I have already reviewed two moisturizers in my previous videos. I'll be happy if you guys wanna check that. And for this video, I'm gonna tell you about sunscreens in Indian market. I believe your sunscreens should be really cheap and affordable because it is not something just cosmetic but it is a drug that each of us need every day. Living in India, a very sunny country, you definitely need a good sunscreen. But Indian market has very few good sunscreens and if there is a sunscreen which is good, it is already expensive to afford for most of us who go out like students, people who just work and their salary is not so high. I don't think they can afford those very expensive sunscreens. The thing that matters a lot for me is that it should not irritate your skin and it should not have fragrance. So these are the sunscreens in Indian market and almost everyone tried it. Some of these are affordable, very affordable that I doubt this because the more the brand invests in a product the higher the price goes that's not always the case sometimes you get shittiest products at higher price so let's talk about these sunscreens first very affordable sunscreen that I tried is lactocalamine daily sun shield this yellow tube and I got it in pack of two from Amazon and it was very affordable for you know two tubes of sunscreen so it has fragrance and it is not waterproof it's FPS 50 PA++++ UVA and UVB and I don't really trust this it says matte look sunscreen first of all it is not matte but it is not that bad on my brown skin because I have used other products that leave horrible white cast on my face but this one doesn't do that but the fact that it has fragrance and it is not waterproof this is really bad for summers even for winters for some reason I don't trust this and I am aware of the testing which was done in 2020 I guess or 2021 so that's why I tried it and I'm not gonna repurchase this again. Please don't waste your money on this. Thank you. The next one that I tried is this one, Sun Cross Matte Finish. First of all, it is not matte. It does not get spread very well. And it is water resistant and it does leave white cast again on my skin because Indians have that skin tone most of us you apply a lot of it and that is not possible to apply a lot of it my face looks like I'm a fucking clown that's why I would not recommend this sunscreen and the next one this one from Nivea SPS 50 PA triple plus it has fragrance it stings on my eyes it burns when I apply it around my eyes which is very important we all should apply sunscreen around our eyes because that is very important because that skin area can get hyperpigmentation very easily and how can you not apply sunscreen there but this one I can't it stings and burns my eyes and I don't want to cry but it makes me cry whole day and that shit does not go away for the whole day until you wash your face also it says very water resistance which is not true if you use some water on your face it just comes off so a lot of fragrance and the lie that it is very water resistant also it does not leave any white cast on my skin because it's a chemical sunscreen why I bought it for my body not for my face but for this video I have tried this sunscreen on my face for whole month it is just painful for my eyes so I have stopped using it and like I said I bought it for my body I'm only gonna apply the rest of it on my body like on my hand on my neck it's gonna be good because it is not very expensive and like I said sunscreens should not be expensive but it is very good for your body I would highly recommend it alongside your main sunscreen that you use on your face 
Next one is from Minimalist and I was super happy when I got to know that Minimalist has a sunscreen now so I was so happy and I made sure that I get the cheaper one which is multivitamin SPS 50 I have heard good things about this and the main thing is that it is fragrance free and they have uploaded proof of their testing on this sunscreen and it was tested very high on FPS and they have uploaded that on their website as a proof so I guess we can trust them on this if you just pat it on your skin it goes very well but if you rub a lot of it on your skin it might ball up on your skin and fall off so I would recommend you patting this on your skin rather than rubbing it on your skin and I actually use it and I trust it that it is actually gonna protect my skin so no fragrance very minimal to no white cast it is something that I can work with so I would highly recommend this very affordable no fragrance and at the end a very good sunscreen which is from Avin. it is a sunscreen for children but you can definitely use it because I use it many adults use it Dr. Dre she loves this sunscreen but one thing I want to tell you guys about this sunscreen is that it is not water resistant. On the packaging it says water resistant. It is not water resistant at all. I can take it off just by splashing some water on my face. That's how bad it is. And I don't know if this is a fake tube. I got it from Amazon and many people review it there. I checked reviews. People had good experience with this. I can agree to that because it is from Avain and their sunscreen standards are very high as we are told by other YouTubers. So let's trust them. But the next point of this sunscreen is that it is not good for brown skin. It leaves horrible white cast. No matter how little you use, maybe I can get away with a little bit of white cast. But if it comes to using three lines on your three fingers, this is just horrible. And I can't imagine this using on my face and going out. It just stays on the surface of your skin. It just does not seep into your skin. It is just gonna stay there on your skin. You use it in the morning and you find it at the exact place in the evening. It is a good sunscreen and I wanted to love it. That's why I didn't just buy one tube of this, but I bought two tubes of this. But what is my conclusion on this one? If you have fair skin and if you don't sweat, you can definitely use this one because it is a good sunscreen. And if you have skin like me, like brown skin, then I would suggest you to not use it or I can tell you how to use it. So keep on watching because I'm gonna tell you in this video. For now, let's move on to another one, this one. So this is another very hyped up product. Thank goodness I bought the smallest pack of this. This is 30 ml Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock. I can't tell you one answer for this one because if you are brown skin and you don't find any other sunscreen to work for you, you should definitely go for this one because it is water resistant it does not give you white cast plus it is Neutrogena so I trust it more than that lactocalamine let me tell you again another sunscreen that stinks so bad on the eye because I feel that it has a lot of fragrance of course I can't tell you how much fragrance but I can smell a lot of fragrance when I apply this on my skin it is something that my eyes can't handle so I don't apply it anymore so I would definitely not recommend this for someone who can't handle fragrance around the eye area and someone who hates fragrance in their sunscreen for me I had no other choice back then when I was trying sunscreens so this was the best choice for me because it did not give me any white cast so that is why I was okay hurting my eyes with this product because other sunscreens gave me horrible white cast on my skin but now I'm gonna show you guys how I apply sunscreens that give me white cast but those sunscreens are actually gonna protect your skin from the sun but before that let me tell you my favorite from this list I love this one from minimalist and also this one from Avain. so this one leaves horrible white cast on my skin like I already said and this one has very minimal white cast 
by the way i'm repeating that these two do not have fragrance and these two are actually good at protecting your skin so i mix this together what i do is i take this much of this product and just because it is gonna have white cast i mix it with this one one or two pumps and then i mix this together and then apply it on my skin also these two sunscreens are very affordable i will mention the link below you guys can click on the links and check the pricing pricing can always change so please wait for the sale if your current favorite sunscreen is not on sale and remember your sunscreen should not be expensive but it should be something that you can afford and use it every day thank you so much for watching and if you want me to make more videos please like this video 